This opportunity is, of course, presented by the EA Creator Network. Thank you very much, EA, for giving me the chance to create content early and to access Ultimate Team early. Massive thank you to EA for that. Now, what's going on, boys? No guides here. Welcome back to another video. Uh, we've got a video today. We're going straight into, straight into, of course, Ultimate Team. How to set up Ultimate Team, how to get that all started. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do and the best methodology. And we're going to go through it all one by one. So... First of all, now, there is logic to which starter pack you choose. Um, it depends if you're paid to win or if you're going for free to win. Generally, England is quite good because the packs that you get, you get some decent cards. Some people say you want cards that were value. Um, but for the SBCs, England is the best to go for. Um, generally speaking, I avoid the SBCs. I normally buy them from the market. That's just the way that I do it. I'm more for efficiency. I use whatever I have and then I buy whatever I don't have after. I'm going this year for like a kind of a hybrid team, so I'm gonna go with France. Just because I'm going straight into the just straight into the squad. The first thing I gotta do is name a team as well. So let's see we're gonna name a team. So who, who's the first player we get? Ron G. I have no idea who he is, but that's fine. Um so look, the reason why I go for like um, a French team is you get some players like Alessandrini. And when I go into my first rival games, I don't really want, I would say, a, a subpar team and off league. So I'd rather get France to kind of build around them. It doesn't really matter if you really want to go for England. Of course, be my guest and go ahead and do so. Um, so we're going to go straight into the into the game. Um, we're going to go straight into the game. So, of course, I've got to name my team. I don't know what. So we're going to add a high-rated player. So we're going, to, we're going to swap a player out. That's a normal one. Um, you can see, so I normally go with the best player as a super sub. That's what I do every single year. Um, I normally go for someone that's fast or someone that's very, very good. If I got Ronaldo here, I would choose Ronaldo. Um, I got Nabry and I got Sancho. Now, Rafa also goes for seven games and he's got pretty decent finishing. But so Nabry has much better. I'm going to go in the end for Nabry. It is less games. But I do want a marksman player that I can bring on, especially when I, don't forget there's no placement games this year. Um, but the most important thing is wins. I'll explain how that works. I'm gonna go with England kit. The kits are irrelevant. I normally choose black and white because my eyesight's not too good. Although that is a very nice PSG kit. Um, but I suppose I can purchase that later on. You know what? I can't go back now, but I might have to just I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go and get this PSG kit. If you do get a duplicate kit of the same color, just go in and mark it and buy any kit for 150. Um, but I should be going for that kit, but I'll be honest, I do like that PSG kit, so I'm gonna go for that PSG kit. And for the for the logo, it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with Germany. I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna go with Germany. So anyway, we've got the France pack, England home kit, Paris and German badge. And of course, because I obviously was an older player, I played last year. If you watch my video, um, so I do get some few things. I get an Abbas alone card, a foot icons. Um, I get a foot icons. What, well, two kit, should I say? Team of the week kit. And of course, I get the gold pack, gold players pack, 80 pack. And I do get a coin boost um, for a certain amount of matches. So it's up to you how you want to do this. Um, I don't have any FIFA points that I know in 22, but I will transfer them anyway. Um, make that's a very important thing. If you transfer, if you have FIFA points preloaded on your old account, make sure you take that screen slow because if you press no, there's no going back. And if again, I'm playing this on early access, obviously thanks to EA. So um, when you play this on the 27th, you'll be following through the system. So you can see here, you can preview your packs, you can explore your packs, the normal system. Um, I'm going to be very careful in what I open. So as you can see, that now it's at the bottom of the screen. Um, I'm just going to open, I don't want to open no team of the week or anything like that. So I'm going to open the gold packs. I'm just going to open whatever packs I have. What, what do I have to deal with? Okay, first of all, I'm just going to, I'm going to, okay, that's a new power system. I'm just going to take the foot and bastard loan card. Of course, I'm going to take Hyung Min Son, one of the best cards this year. The card I'm going to look to acquire very, very soon. Of course, I'm going to take him. 89 rated. There's, there's not even a question of doubt within that. And I'm just going to make one of this... Um, I'm actually going to put this to the... Well, you can't sense transfer this. I want to put this all in my club. I'll change my kit later on. So we're going to open these packs. I'm going to go through the animations. So there is a new animation every single year. And this is a new animation. So who do we get over here? Bergerin, right? Not a bad card. So again, we got a gold pack, of course, because we were... The old ones. So here we got Bergerin. So normally, um, there's a choice. Um, I'm just going to list these in the market because I'm not going to use these cards. Um, so normally, the cards I'm not going to use, I list them. 
This card looks like a good super sub because he's got very high pace. I'm actually going to put him in a squad. And the rest of them, I'm going to, I'm going to quick sell things like the ball because I don't really need them. And a stadium, to be honest, is not that important. The rest of the things I'm going to keep because I'm going to need them. If you want to, you can list some of those in the market and relist them. But realistically, no one's going to buy them. That's what I do with my entrance pack. You know these entrance packs? That's fine. You can go ahead and straight into the starter SPCs. So here we have another one. We do have the Tomas. Another card, of course. And again, um, so some of these cards might sell. They might not sell. What I would say, list them on the market. This is what I do. And don't forget, I do things quite effectively. There is ways that you can kind of save money if you really, really want to. But I'm all about getting straight into it. Saving money where it's feasible, but not overly saving money, if that makes sense. Um, so I'm going to list everything that I can. And if they don't sell, I'm going to list them again. And maybe I'll quick sell them again. We need the contract cards and we need the manager cards. So we're just going to go through the remaining packs. We get a stadium pack as well. We, of course, we do get a stadium pack. We got CSK Moscow, which I'm probably going to use as my home kit, probably. Um, again, so again, we have more. We got Dina, Dina Zagreb. We got some kits as well. Um, so what I'm going to do is realistically, I'm actually going to make Olympiacos my uh, my actual logo. Um, but um, you can, again, you can sell these on the market. But just in, in effect for just time, I'm going to... Do you know what? I'm also list them. I'm, I don't need the money yet. But obviously, don't forget, if you list them now, there's going to be a bit of a time. But that's fine. The rest of it will keep. That's not that important. Add uh, those um, to the club. And we've just got two more packs. I'm quickly going to speed through these now. I'm just going to skip the animations because I'm pretty sure you've seen them already. Um, hope that wasn't a walkout because I might have missed it. And it was a walkout. Um, so I've got PK. So what I'll normally do is if someone's a very expensive place, there's only three PKs in the market right now. I do, however, need the coins. Um, so I'm actually going to undercut this this guy by 3.4. Don't forget, when you get the game, there's going to be more players on the market. The reason why um, uh, mine is because obviously I got the game and there's only a few players on the game. So I'm just going to undercut him by 3.4. A little cheeky undercut. Nothing wrong with that. We do have Iniesta. We do have a magnitude of other players as well. Now, a lot of these cards, um, they might not be in the market. So if you can, you can do a buy now price. Um, but realistically, I know, well, this is a meta center back. Now, this is the thing. Just because someone is 77 rated does not mean they are bad. This is a top tier center back inside the game. I am not selling him. He is a top tier meta card. Got a very good sprint speed, very good defending, very good physical. I'm still in favor of fullbacks and center back in the honors with you, but um, I'm definitely keeping him. Iniesta will go. Um, there's no Iniesta on the market. There's one. Do you know what? We'll try to sell him. If he sells him, if not, if not, we'll sell him. Maybe some will buy him. Um, we've got another card. Looks like a good super sub in all honesty. Um, but we do need the money as well. Um, you know what? We'll sell him. We'll sell him. We'll just undercut again the market by now. Again, you can wait. Of course, different times of the day. There's different market market values as well. Um, and then the rest of these guys, I think he's basically worth nothing. Yeah, we're going to quick sell him. No one's going to buy that guy. No one's going to buy him. No one's going to buy him. And that's it. So we quick sold these guys again. If you want to, go ahead, list them in the market once. And then go into it. Let's, you know what? We'll, we'll wait because maybe we'll get something good. But maybe I've screwed myself. Let's just wait. Maybe we'll get something good. Let's have a look. So I think that was a walkout with the flares. We do have Zinchenko. Not, not, not a bad card, to be fair, Zinchenko. Um, again, we're going to keep him in the club. Um, I'm just going to sell these guys because I know realistically no one's going to buy them. Fofana might be a decent card, in all honesty. Um, no one, it's none of him on the market. Um, because I don't know how much he's in the market. I'm just going to put him for 5k. Someone wants to buy him for 5k. So be it. I can always come back to him. Um, the Premier League players. Are, but again, I just quick sell these players to get the money. Quickly, we're going to keep Zinchenko because I want to use him in the team. All the good players-esque, um, we do keep him in the team. So we've got 5k so far. And we're going to go through these as well. And of course, don't forget, I'm streaming on twitch.tv forward slash nil guides, of course. Um, and sorry if I'm ignoring the chat, of course. Oh, we do get Oscar. Not a bad card, um, one that will sell on the market again because um, we're not going to be using him. So Oscar, again, we're going to compare his price. We're just going to undercut it. Again, 1.9. If he sells, he sells, he doesn't, he doesn't. And the rest of these cards are very much useless. So just make sure you look at the stats. If you see a good pace, um, this guy looks like a pretty decent French guy because i got a French team. So I'm actually going to keep the French players just for now and the rest of them I want to quick sell. Because don't forget I chose France as my starting squad. So I'm just going to keep some of these French players and I think I can just use them as placeholders. Now my opinion is when you go into a game, I have the logic of, re well my reasoning is placeholders. So the way I build my team is 
you can go ahead and do the SPCs. I'm pretty sure you've seen videos on how to do the SPCs already. Um, please tell me that is. Bakambu, yes, that's the car that I wanted. Joseph Martinez and Bakambu are two cars that I want immediately. He's going to be a, a super, super soft for me. And the rest of the cards, again, useless. Ming's because he's Premier League. He might go for something. So, you know what? We're just going to put him on the market. If he goes, he goes. If not, if not, if not, if not. Socrates, uh, maybe he's got a decent card, so we're going to sell him. And the rest, again, will go, again, to the quick sell. So, we've already amounted a decent amount of coins. So, this is the way that I do, okay? Um... We've got, of course, we, we're going to, we can see, so this is the preview pack. So this is the thing. So when you go into a pack and you press X, so every single day, every 24 hours, you can do a preview pack. So you see, if I purchase this pack, I can get Poado. I have, he's probably not worth anything. So if you're going to spend people points and let's say, for example, I don't know, you're only going to spend, let's say, £100. You could be very smart about this and you can basically every day look at the preview packs to see what's available. Um, and don't forget, you can only preview some of the packs with that icon above them. And in all honesty, um, the preview packs, only some of them can be previewed. But if you're going to spend people points, look, I'm not going to lie here. Um, most people that are in this stream right now and that have watched my content, most of you guys between 30 and 40 years old, you're not going to spend when EA Play comes out on a Wednesday on a work day, trading silvers for 150 coins. I know you're not going to do that. So you're going to buy people points. The key is you want to buy them early on and load them into a game. Because I know realistically most of my viewers are adults. They're not kids. You have disposable income. So if you're going to people points, I would say do it when the game comes out because that's the most effective time to do it. So as soon as EA Play comes out, you spend your people points then. Don't spend half now and then wait to December. Play it now. Please, and as you can see in the stream, I think everyone has probably given away their age. Um, but that is, of course, the packs. And, of course, we have the classic packs as well. Don't forget, you can, you can't preview these packs. Well, you can preview some of these packs. Again, that's the icon over there. We're going to preview. And don't forget, you won't buy them by mistake. You can press square to buy them. And some of these French cards cost money. So if you really want to be quite um, conservative with the amount of money that you spend, um, you can go ahead and be like, okay, in a preview pack, I do have De Castillo, um, Mugosa, and, and in a, in a, in a gak, in a gaki, in a gaki, and um, tram, tram, wherever these guys are, right? But the key thing is you can just go right down the notepad and then basically go on the market, see how much they cost. So if you know, for example, Del Castillo is, is going for 4,000, then the pack is worth 3.7k. Of course, you're going to buy the pack and then sell them. So if you want to be extra careful, you can go and compare the prices. Um, obviously, no one's in the market now, but you can do that, of course, when you've got the charts, if you want to make more money that way. So this is the Nil Guides way. Um, we're going to do learn and upgrade um, just to kind of walk you through this. Um, so you do have objectives. You want to go through the objectives as quick as you can. So you're going to see play division rivals, win the division rivals as well. And you can see that I've already got some of the objectives. So make sure you go through the objectives as well. You can pause that if you want to. So you, you, we're going to maximize as much coins as we want. Now, this is the, the Neil Guy's approach. Everyone's going to say different opinion, but it's a Neil Guy's approach. Um, and I personally, I'm not a big fan of like, you know, squad building just because I'm a gameplay guy. Um, that's a new, um, don't forget there's new season objectives. Um, that is, of course, season now last um, six weeks and you can go through these. So this is the Neil Guy's approach, okay? Now, if you want to do it astutely, you want to be, conservative um, about the way you spend your coins go ahead and do the starter spcs um, go ahead and do the let's get started or the foundation ones and you can do them and you can build up um, but to be honest it just takes a very long time um, but they're very very simple you know you get the bronze cards anyway so i'll do the let's get started for you um, just use whatever's in your club so don't use whatever you do don't use any gold players so here for example i need bronze players so the way that i do it is I filter by bronze common and I know for example now in theory you want to do it backwards because you want an exactly bronze player here and then you want for example a team chemistry for example um, of 12 so the key thing is to do it backwards so that way so this is this, for example exchange um, this is what's this one again exchange four players from your club with three different nationalities for a bronze player pack so what I will do is is I would go and I would find someone from the same nationality so I'm going to filter this by bronze and I filter them by the same so I got um, I'll just filter these add these guys in um, and I'm not I'm going to try my best not to use the French guys um, because I use them as placeholders but if you if you have to use them that's fine they're bronze players anyway so what I'm going to do is I'm going to chuck these guys in so we need what a left mid a left mid a right mid 
and we need a striker. So don't forget if I do this, it won't work because I need exactly three. So I'm just going to replace this guy. Will I get the camp? Let me see if I can get the. Hang on, let me see if I can do it this way. Do I have a right mid in my team? Let's see if this works. I don't even know. And you see, like here, if I try out, you can see that I can use them. So I'm going to submit that left back. Potentially, that left back is worth um, some money if you want to use them for an SPC. Um, but I'll be honest, I am quite lazy. So I'm just going to go and skip through that. That's that. Claim your rewards. And I, op I generally open the rewards straight away because when you open the rewards, you can use them for the other SPC. So I do it backwards. That's the way that I do it. So you get, of course, a German player. Actually, a pretty good German Cardinal. Honestly, don't forget all these cards are untradeable. So we're going to add them to my squad. I'm just going to do the final two of them. I'm going to do this one. Exchange three players. Um, three players. And uh, we need a maximum team chemistry of 12. Um, of course, yes, in case you're wondering, uh, for those of you that are in the stream, um, I am recording this because, um, of course, EA gave me the chance to part of the Game Changer Network, um, and that is the reason why I was able to obtain the game early on. Um, what was it? So, Team Chemistry is 12, um, so we need a striker. Oh, so, what do we need? We need sorry, a CDM and two centre-backs. So, we need a CDM and two centre-backs. So, let's just see if we can get away with any garbage. Um, so, we're going to put two centre-backs there. And this, this is the way I do it. I just put the, the most lowest rated cards and the most, um, oh, we need a CDM, sorry. The lowest rated cards and the regions. We're going to look for a CDM here. And if you haven't got a CDM, sometimes you can get away with using, for example, a center mid. So if you haven't got the card, try not to buy. Um, a lot of people try to buy the player position switch thing. But a lot of the time, um, as you can see here, I'm one chemistry off. So I need, for example, a CDM. Um, so I'm just going to chuck in this French guy. I can use him for my team, but I'll be honest, he's a, he's realistically, a, he's not really anything. He's not going to do anything. He's a bronze card. So if you lose a mind, but don't buy position change. I've seen loads of new players make the mistake. They try to buy position change when the card is only worth 150. You might as well just buy a brand new card in regards to that. So of course we do get another, so this is another pack as well. We do get it again. And again, we're going to add them all to the club. And then we're going to, and that's it. So we got that. Unfortunately, it goes back. And then we're going to go with the last one. And we need what? Uh, we just need a bronze. And that's why I do it backwards, you see? Because you might get rid of someone uh, early on. You might be thinking, wait, I needed that player. So it's better to do the, them backwards. I know everyone suggests them to do them the other way around. Um, logistically, but uh, logically, should I say. Um, but I do it backwards. Now you can see I've very, very quickly gone through that. Got that reward. Got that game, and uh, we get a two players. And now I could potentially get Ronaldo from this pack. Who knows? Let's have a look. Um, so we've got two more packs. We got one for completing that individual one, and then we got a group reward as well. So this is how you make a top. Well, I would say in my opinion, um, the Neil Guide's quick way of making a good top tier starter team. So um, we're going to go here, add this to the squad over here, and then we're going to go through this pack. So the way that I do it is I look for meta super subs. That's the way you should do it. Everyone will advise you differently. Um, but my opinion is, unfortunately, we didn't get anyone here. To Kuro, it used to be a really good card, to be fair, in the older FIFAs. But he's not anything that's worthwhile. So we're going to add them both to our club. So this is the way that I do it, okay? So if you want to, you can progress through the SBCs if you want to. Um, continue to the objectives. And you can rack up as much coins as you want, okay? So you can rack up as much coins as you want. And if you're watching at this point, go check out my other video. I'll upload it. I'll have, by the time this video has been uploaded, there'll be a tactics video of what tactics you should be using when you're starting the game. So this is what I do, okay? I go to my squad, right? And for example, all the play, I go here. Um, I skip through this. I go here. I press L2. I'm skip through this as well. Press L2. I go squad builder. And then what I do is, because I've chosen France, I'm going to choose France. I'm going to do replace players. And I'm going to do build squad. So now all the players that are French in my team, so that's why you, those bronze players are very effective. And you see, let's say you need placeholders, you just fill them in. So realistic, I don't need the left back. All i got to do is swap my left mid. I can play him temporarily in left back, like that. You see that? And you see how he's getting chemistry even in that position? So we're just going to skip through this. Of course, you can go back and pause this. He's getting six chemistry there. Job done. So this is what I'm trying to say. So centre mid, for example, there. Swap them around, and there you go. You got full chemistry. So you don't have to waste your time faffing around buying players here and there. So then what I do with the rest of the team is I then look in my cards. As you can see, I got Sun. He's a top tier card. I've also got Nabry that I got as a loan card. So I use those in my rivals games. So I'll be playing a rivals game on stream as well. We got Zinchenko as well. And then we got, of course, Bukambu is a very, very good sub. 
And then of course we have Bergwin, and then we have, of course, Godfrey, and then we're going to have some other super subs as well. So these are the players that I got. Now let's say, for example, you got extremely lucky. It's irrelevant, but let's say you did. So let's say, for example, you couldn't get the full French squad. My best advice is just to buy placeholder players. So the most important positions is a striker, the most important player in the pitch. Go get a super sub as a striker, okay? That's the best thing to do. You want a good CDM, two good center backs, and a good goalkeeper. Pace is a thing you should be prioritizing. The left mid, the right mid, the left back and right back is irrelevant. All you need is pace. Trust me on this. I've been playing this game for many, many years. And when everyone laughed and I said four backs and center back, they changed the game because of something I suggested. Remember that. Just remember that. So I'll tell you this. So like, let's say in a situation, okay, let's say in theory I had 3,000 coins and I had to, for example, buy a top tier player. So I've got some placeholders. My best advice is go into the market. So again, every time you do an objective, just make sure you claim it. So we're going to claim all this. As you can see, I've got positioning. And EA, of course, the reward. Now, don't forget, there's no placement matches. Last year, it was so easy to get coins. I remember last year, you could basically make 100k in five games. Ridiculous. I thought it was a terrible idea because the longevity of the game is bad, in my opinion. And also, if you're a top tier player, um, for example, someone like myself, I like to consider at least myself a decent player, 150k, the lower tier players at that point can't compete. So we're going to go into the store and then we're going to go and collect this card. Um, so here we're going to go over here like this. Go and skip through this. As you can see, we've got a new card. We got in so we got the oh we got Tarkovsky. Not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad. I thought it was the same card again. Um, untradeable, that's fine. So we're not going to use him because he's too slow. Um, that's um, just the way that I play. So what I'll say is I would say go ahead and buy a card. So because right now I am playing the early access version, I'd recommend going on Footbin or something like that and checking what cards are available. Um, I can't show you that right now in this video, um, but basically if you go in Footbin, you can check a card. So then what I would say is go ahead and buy that card. Another thing you can do is you can go to Gold Common, do it by country. So I got a French team and then do 350 or 400 by now. Just do like a buy now card. Most of the time, obviously the game has not come out and you'll see, for example, cards like this. And uh, you got to be smart about this because the gold common cards, they don't, they only sell quick stuff for about 350. So don't overpay for a card. So this is what I like to call quick sell value cards. This is the nil guys approach. So let's see whatever gold cards are available on the market. Let's say in theory one was 700. Let's say for example, one of these cards was 700. Okay. Let's say in theory, what you would do is you would buy the cheapest card for like 800 coins. That way, when you, if you don't want that card anymore, you just quick sell it. So what I mean, for example, let's say I bought Ikane and let's say I bought him for 750. As you progress and upgrade your team, let's say after rivals, you buy another player. All you got to do is like that. You quick sell him. As you can see, the gold common card is 700. And if it's a gold rare, that's an icon. That's a loan card, should I say, so it won't sell. But if, for example, if it's like Bacambu, it's 570. So yeah, so um, 570 for the gold rare. So try to buy... Um, the gold rare costs 570 and other gold commons for 400. And um, obviously because France, of course, is um, a top tier nation, it's very, very hard to find those cards. If you can't find anything on those, just go to any and just buy any French player um, for a very, very cheap price. Now, unfortunately, there's no cards on the market, but I'd recommend some quick super subs. I'd recommend number one is Bakambu. That's the first guy I'd recommend. He's a very, very good card. Um, as you can see, 650 coins. Um, in all honesty, I'm actually going to buy him and I'm going to sell him again because he's actually a good super sub. So this guy, I actually listed him very, very cheap. He's a top tick. I'm actually going to relist him. <laughs> Bit of cheeky profit here um, because that I because I know realistically I don't want him. I can just literally quick sell him for 570 coins. So what's the loss there? So that's what I mean by you buy a card for very, very cheap. You don't want him. You just quick sell him. So we're going to put him for 3k. So that's one card I recommend. He's a top, top tier card. And you want to sub these guys on. That's what you want to do. So it doesn't matter who your strike is. You want to sub these guys on. We're going to go with Joseph Mart um, Martins. Now, as you can see, he's very, very expensive. So I'm just going to place a bid for him at 600. Because I'm not going to spend 15k. I'll go ahead and check back again. And what you want to do is you want to build up all these super. So you will have three subs, right? So... Joseph Mar Martinez um, and those players all go in. And then let's say, for example, you got some good packs. So as you can see, I got Godfrey. Um, so I'm going to try to bring these cards together. So I got Bergerin. So let me just try changing this left hand side. I'm going to change the formations to, I'm going to go over to 4 3 3. I'm going to go with the 4 3 3 over here. I know, for example, that combination over there. And I'm going to put Sun there. 
and off playing off players like playing a playoff chemistry is not the end of the world honestly it really isn't and as you can see i can just put someone like that and for the for the time being you can just put players off chemistry like that so you see how you can put he's getting seven chemistry he's still better than anyone else on seven chemistry so that's completely fine i got a bit lucky in this one and as you can see um that player is on four so i'm probably going to go ahead and get maybe let's say a premier league um so let's say for example you want to fill in that gap so i'm going to go here and all i got to go is to premier league like so go premier league and i had tarkowski in all honesty um, but if you can, for example, so I don't want Tarkowski just because very simply he's too slow. Um, so you can just search, for example, Premier League defender and you can buy him. So as you can see, they are very, very expensive for now. Um, but obviously by the time you're watching this, there'll be loads of defenders on the market. So you can go ahead and push them. And that's basically how you create a quick starter team. And as you can see, there isn't really anyone here that's really... So I, I know Zuma is pretty expensive. We're going to reduce it just a bit more actually. Um, let's see if we can get a fullback. Can we, well, it's not going to be the same thing. Let's see what other Premier League players. So we do have Winks. So you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and get. I'm going to go ahead and get this guy. I have no idea who he is. Literally have no idea who he is. But you see, with these cars, look. If I buy them for for six fifty, if I don't want them, I just sell them. I only lose like you know three hundred. So it's not the end of the world. So I'm going to put these cars in my club, and just to show you an example. So what I will do is I'll go into the game like this. So like this, and for example here, I wanted that CDM to get chemistry, so I'm just going to put him in, put him like that, like that, simple. And as you can see, the chemistry is not the most important thing. A lot of people get like too carried away with chemistry. Oh, I need this, that chemistry. Don't get carried away with it too much. And the final thing I'm going to go with is a Premier League goalkeeper, um, just because... I don't really, I need, at least, don't forget, goalkeepers are very, very important. Um, they're going to be the ones that are saving. As long as it's a gold goalkeeper, it's not the end of the world. Um, there's none in the market right now, but when there is one in the market, you go ahead and you purchase that. And that is basically pretty much it. So as you can see from there, if I go over to my squad, you can see from there, that's it. Um, I go into a game and it doesn't matter too much about the chemistry. Honestly, don't worry about it too much. People are, are too much faffing about it. Go and use your formation, readjust everyone's whatever formation on the play. So if you want to, for example, play the 4 2 3 1 over there. Or I'll play Sun, my best playing striker. Then I know Fafana is um, a center back, so I'll put him over there. And then Sinchoko left back and right back. And as you can see, I've got Alessandrini and Bergerin. And let's say, for example, the player. So let's say, for example, I realized, okay, I haven't got a right back and I haven't got, for example, a good cam and I haven't got a center back. Let's just say in theory, okay? So then what you do basically is, let's say, okay, you know, for example, some of these players that you have. So I got this for Fana. I thought it was actually a center back for Fana. But let's say some of these players are not good. Then all you do is you just sub players on. So you have three subs in a game. So if you need a right back, just go on the market and buy any right back from any league and buy them for like, so this, let me give an example. So let's say, for example, in that situation, I needed a cam or like, so what I'll do, for example, is I'll go ahead and I'll buy Joseph Martinez, like I mentioned. So let's say I go ahead and buy him. As you can see, it was very, very expensive. Um, because don't forget, subs come on as five chemistry. It's not the end of the world. So when that finishes in three minutes, let's say, for example, I purchased him. So in the game, you're allowed three subs, okay? So what you do, basically, is let's say, for example, um, I had Nabri, I sub Nabri on for this guy. Then let's say, I don't know, that was a right back from, I don't know, let's say La Liga. I put him in over there. And I put Bacambu for this guy. And suddenly, I've got a very meta team. Because... The chemistry doesn't change, but when I go into tactics, unless I was playing the 4 2 3 1, like, like so. And as you can see, I put Sun and Striker, the loan card. I put Nabri and Cam. And then as you can see, I put Bakam over there. And if I want, I can sub anyone off. But as you can see, it ends up becoming a very meta team. So you can see I've actually got very, very top tier players. In their essence, in a quick amount of time. Now, obviously, if if I because I got Sun as a loan card, if I haven't got Sun, I put Joseph Mar Martins. Then that's how you could create a team quickly. So don't waste your time going. So if, with EA Access, you've got ten hours. Okay, do this on the web app. Do all this on the web app. I'm doing it on the console so I can show you how it looks like. Um, but do this on the web app, and then that's how you want to go into games. So if you're doing a free to play, that is what I recommend. If you want to go straight into the games. Then if you want to, you can do the SPCs and whatever you want um, on the web app. But I would say go straight into the game. And that is the way that I would do it. That's the way that I do it every single year. That's the most quick and effective way of doing it. And that way, don't forget, you will get coin bonus for every single match you win. And when you don't want a card, let's say, for example, you bought Zinchenko for 750 
you quick sell them for 600, you lose 200 coins, you lose basically nothing. And that is how you can build your team very quickly using the least amount of money without faffing around or anything else. Um, but that is basically it. Of course, again, thank you very much for the, to, the, to EA Network, Game Station Network. I'll have a part two of this explaining how I'm going to do it and how a picture of me going into the game. So thank you very much, EA, of course, for getting the opportunity to record this. Thank you very much for watching, boys. Take it easy, and I'll catch you next time.